Steve Guttenberg here, and I'm with my friend uh, Nelson Pass. So we were talking about Amp Camp, but Amp Camp uh, started actually as, as Speaker Camp. And how did that all begin? Uh, well, the first Burning Amp Festival had a guy named Nelson Brock who brought a pair of speakers which were Voigt, uh, Voigt enclosures with a full range driver that everybody went wild about. And um, he and his family decided to uh, uh, make that available in an event that they did one time only, unfortunately, called Speaker Camp. Mm -hmm. where everybody showed up, paid a small amount of money to cover materials, and then proceeded to uh, saw and drill and uh, put together these lo these loudspeakers. And at the end of the day, they all went home with a nice pair of loudspeakers that sounded great. And mm -hmm. that, that inspired them to subsequently propose that they would do a, an amp camp same kind of idea and mm -hmm. so they came to me and said we want to see what we can work up for this and so i thought about it and the first thing i said was well we're gonna you're you can't have these people building their own ac line power supplies and where they where where you know they, there's lethal voltages and so on we can't go there with that so we designed this around uh, little switching supplies in fact the ones that were are 19 volt and are very inexpensively had because they're used to power laptops and there's tons of them mm -hmm. on the surplus market. Mm -hmm. So I designed a little, uh, just about 10 watt amplifier, single-ended class A, uh, uh, so, somewhat similar to the Zen amplifier I had done years before. Mm. Something that was designed to be really good, but at the same time so easily built and tested that we could get people in and out with it uh, in one day. And they held the event. It was a very big success. Everybody left with a working amplifier. Hmm. So uh, in that sense, although I had to stay late to you know, see that, that, that actually <laughs> okay. occurred, and it was somewhat more hours than I imagined. This, this is, it. is the uh, Amp Camp Amp. This is actually the earliest version of it. It's uh, currently still available on DIY Audio at nominal price. You build it so yourself. So it's DIYAudio.com. DIYAudio.com. Mm. There's a later version with a 24-volt instead of 19-volt supply that's got more power. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it, and it's also available in a, in a stereo version. And these actually are extremely power. Uh, the, the years go by, and this is still selling well. Oh. It, and and there are people still talking about how great it is. And, so. and they can, they don't have to buy the whole thing. They can just buy the circuit. They can buy the circuit board for a couple bucks uh -huh. if they want to. You know, or they can buy it as a complete kit with all the parts. It's Class A complete. ten watt amplifier. Class A single ended. Woof. High yeah. end audio for budget well, can, budget. We prices. can hook this up to the tannoys. It'll do great. Awesome. We'll have to do that. Yeah, that's really cool. Well, I hope. I hope circumstances come around that you can do something else like that. Uh, there's talk it's, about it. I would love to do it. Uh -huh. But, well, you know, fortunately for me, I don't, I'm not really responsible for holding these events. I just show up at them and try to help out. <laughs> well, you designed the freaking thing, right? Oh, yeah, but, you know, that's the best. That's, that's the fun hey, part. <laughs> designing is like breathing for Nelson <laughs> that's Pass. That's the fun part. It just happens. Yes. You wake up every day, you put on your socks, and you breathe, and yeah. an amplifier comes out. Well, it's like... Uh, it's like Fritz Perls, you know, would say, you don't, you don't push the river, it flows by itself. <laughs> <laughs> and so does Nelson Pass. Anyway, thanks, for, thanks, Nelson. My name's Steve Guttenberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show coming to you from Sea Ranch, California. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.